Good morning, Father Lewis, Brother Thomas Augustine, Sister Catherine Maria, faculty members, brothers, sisters, family, friends, and fellow seniors. A floating object, 1,092 feet long, 252 feet wide, could justly be called colossal. Such is an aircraft carrier, a special innovation for a special situation, a runway on water. Titanic in terms of a boat, small in terms of an airport, its size is essential to the success of its mission. The carrier runway allows its planes limited space for takeoff and landing. A carrier is made for combat, an exceptional instrument for a critical mission, fighting the enemy. In combat, the pilot must be efficient with his allotted time and resources. Landing too is unusual, for both the runway and the pilot are moving. The whole system of ship, pilot, and crew is shown to be very successful and efficient if properly executed, as demonstrated in United States military history. There is another system, however, which we graduates have observed working fluently for, for several years. This system is that of school, students, and faculty. The same system is shown to be very successful and efficient if properly executed, as demonstrated at Immaculate Heart of Mary School. Students in the school have time, 12 years in fact, to prepare to launch themselves into the awaiting world, but 12 years is short in comparison to a lifetime and not even comparable to eternity. Like a pilot preparing for combat, students must be efficient with allotted time and resources, for as soon as day one and grade one, the runway is fast slipping by under a student's feet. The graduates of this school are given enough time and resources, but they do not have enough to waste, just as a pilot does not have fuel or time to waste. When the planes are taking off, they are propelled forward in a perfectly straight line. Seniors have been propelled forward, not only forward, but upward in a definite line, leading to success in the ultimate mission given to man by God, to know, love, and serve, and live eternally with him in heaven. This line of direction is very exact. Just a minuscule variation will throw one off course and downwards. All it takes to jolt the plane is one error. But errors and mistakes happen, and fighter planes have the capacity and controls to compensate for many errors. Likewise, man has the capacity to make use of God's gifts, the sacraments, and to compensate for errors through confession and absolution. I'm sure that all the graduates have been asked, where are you going? What do you want to do? In other words, in what direction will you go? Ultimately, of course, the direction is toward heaven. But every graduate understands the gravity of the course he or she takes in this life because of the exceptional and thorough education here at the school. From our classes, we graduates know that our mind should be open to conformity with God's plan. But all men do not observe that conformity, as each person has free will. Again, the importance of making use of resources and time given by God becomes clear. If a person has used his talents and gifts to the best of his ability, he will conform to God's will, because only in following God's will can one best utilize his talents and resources. My fellow graduates and I have been given ample resources, daily mass, expanding educational opportunities, sports, and concert and marching band. You can be quite sure that fighter pilots are proud of their preparation when they are ready to fly into combat, for sitting in the cockpit is proof of their hard work. The class of 2014 is also proud of their preparation, and the graduation today is proof of the class's work. We have had opportunities to show our pride in the faith and our school through the athletic teams and the marching band. In every parade, the papal flag is carried high before the band, witnessing to our pride, faith, and fortitude. Last year, we graduates read A Christmas Carol by Dickens. Dickens told us through the character of Scrooge that, quote, men's courses will foreshadow certain ends to which, if persevered in, they must lead. But if the courses be departed from, the ends will change, end quote. The education the class of 2014 has received has set us on a course straighter than a fighter plane's takeoff, which foreshadows success not only in this life, 
but more importantly, in the next. Of course, God is to be thanked for this great gift of an education, followed by our parents, the slaves of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the chaplains, and the benefactors, known, unknown, or forgotten. The fighter pilot would not even enter the cockpit without God-given physical and mental capabilities, a plane, and instruction. We graduates would not be here today without our God-given lives, our parents, and this school. We are here, however, fully ready to and capable of launching into the awaiting future.